Hey, Luna Moss here. Uh, this is a continuance of the video that I titled Impact. It was about the movie Deep Impact and how it parallels today. I'll put a link below. It's probably pretty important that you watch in order to understand this video. Anyway, um, another coincidence. So Deep Impact is about uh, an asteroid hitting or coming into the orbit of Earth, going to hit Earth, and the people of Earth are trying to stop it. It's about a possible extinction level event, ELE. Deep Impact, the movie, came out on May 8th, 1998, and I stumbled across, for the second time, an album by Busta Rhymes called ELE, Extinction Level Event, The Final World Front. So I've looked this up before and seen this album, but I couldn't really make any connection to what it went with in my other videos. I, I'd seen it and I was like, eh, I don't, I'm not going to include that. I don't know why I'm being shown this. Um, okay, so this album came out the same year as Deep Impact. And it says that the title, like the cover artwork, was influenced by the movie Deep Impact. But I want to share with you the evolution of albums by Busta Rhymes and the names of the albums. So first, there is The Coming. Second, When Disaster Strikes. Then, ELE, Extinction Level Event, The Final World Front. Then, Anarchy. And then, Genesis. So... This is a prediction or timeline of world events. So we have the coming, and at the same time, we have disaster striking. Then ELE, extinction level event, the final world front. Then anarchy, because yes, hello, something of that matter would cause anarchy, or anarchy would be happening when disaster strikes. Then genesis, which is the beginning of something new. Um, also, there is an intro to this album. Let me find it. I wanted to read a few words. From, actually, it's ridiculous. Um, so as the song goes on, it gets like creepier and crazier and whatever. But uh, having been released in 1998, it definitely parallels a lot of things that were going on today. So starts out, um, I'm afraid the end time is near the cataclysmic apocalypse referred to in the scriptures of every holy book known to mankind. It will be an era wrought with boundless greed and corruption, where global monetary systems disintegrate, leaving brother to kill brother for a grain of overcooked rice. The nations of the civilized world will collapse under the oppressive weight of parasitic political conspiracies which remove all hope and optimism from their once faithful citizens. Around the globe, generations of polluters will be punished for their sins. Unshielded by the ozone layer they have successfully depleted, left to bake in the shearing rays of light. Wholesale assassinations serve to destabilize every remaining government, leaving the starving and wicked to fend for themselves. Bloodthirsty renegade cyborgs created by tax dollars and corporations wreak havoc. Pissed off androids tired of being slaves to a godless and gutless system. Whew. Where the rich get richer, <laughs> where the rich get richer, and the poor get effed over. Unleashed worldwide destruction by means of nuclear holocaust. Annihilating the terrified masses, leaving in its torturous way nothing but vicious, cannibalistic, mutating, radiating, and horribly dif disfigured hordes of satanic killers, beg uh, begged on revenge, but against doom. There are so few left alive, starvation reigns supreme. Forcing our lucky survivors to eat anything and anyone in their path, Massive earthquakes crack the planet's crust like a hollow eggshell, causing unending volcanic eruptions, 
creatures of the seven seas, unable to escape certain death upon land, boiling in their liquid prison. Sounds like Fukushima. Disease encircles the earth, plagues and viruses with no known cause or cure, laying waste whatever draws breath. And humankind, having proven itself to be nothing more than a, roos, uh, than a race of ruthless scavengers, fall victim to merciless attack on the hands of interplanetary alien tribes. I'm not so sure about that. Who seek to... I don't even know what that says. This is extinction level event, the final world front, and there is only one year left. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it. So there's that. That's the intro to the album. <laughs> Yay, that sounds really exciting. Um, and then there is his, his actual song on the album called Extinction Level Event. Um, I'm not going to read all of it because it's mostly <laughs> it's mostly kind of like pointless rap. Uh, but the end of it is what caught my eye. Uh, so it says, once again, we welcome all people in the world. I'm uh, trying to edit this for your ears. To experience the extinction level event, the dawn of global emergency, the point where we all come together as one unison and completely dominate all global events. We are about to completely destroy all the whack bullshit that we got going on in our, ev uh, in our every and any reach. <laughs> as we enter the new millennium with this rap shit. Um... Basically, it talks about uh, a bomb threat to the world, soldiering on, um, <laughs> satellites, like just all kinds of stuff like that. I'll put the lyrics below, but I think it's really interesting how that album paralleled this movie about a extinction level event, um, and it's like you wonder if the government or they um, have known about something that's coming and have shielded it from us, like in the movie Deep Impact, where they've kept it a secret um, and they have been preparing us for it subconsciously by plugging all these disaster movies and albums and things like this into minds into consciousness in order to either create this event or um, basically prepare human humanity for something like this. Uh, I also was looking at other things in the media that were coming out right around 1998. Uh, there was a 1997 miniseries on TV called Asteroid. The same story, basically. U.S. government trying to prevent an asteroid from impacting Earth. Uh, then in 1996, there was a movie called Ebola Syndrome. Hmm. Uh, 1997, there's a movie called Peacemaker, which was about um, basically a worldwide nuclear war. And I found it interesting that that was actually the very first film put out by DreamWorks. And then, oh, I also wanted to talk about the Atlas V uh, rocket that was launched from Vandenberg. So I'm not really sure what these, I've been researching on them and I'm not, I mean, of course it says it's a super secret mission and we don't know what it's carrying, but there's got to be someone that at least knows like what it's possibly carrying. Um and could maybe point that out. Anyway, there were a lot of people in California were curious because it produced this really bright orange light when it was launching, and you could see it, even though you're not close to Vandenberg. Um, so, let's see. I don't really know what this rocket is and what it's about. 
But I did find it interesting that it's the Atlas V or Atlas V rocket, and it's 541 is the number. So V in Roman numerals is 5. Uh, then there was five, and then there's four and one. Four and one is five. So basically the numerology or the numbers on this is Atlas 555. Um, I'm not really sure what that means, but I know that 555 means major change. And I'm just wondering if that was on purpose and if there's like a deeper kind of ritualistic symbolism to the naming of this rocket. And what it could possibly be. So if you have any ideas or you have any information, that would be great. Uh, please post it below. I would love to hear anything. And um, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.